The Beethoven voice is today as fresh and powerful than it was when he created these masterpieces. Unfortunately, we don't have his mobile number, so we cannot talk to him. But through his music, we really get in contact with him. It's true, Beethoven only has a landline. He's much <laughs> older. He's, he's, just, he's, just, he's an old guy. <laughs> There is a magic to symphonic music because it is music in time, but when performed and experienced, you lose your sense of time. I am making nine giant abstractions based on the symphonies that Beethoven wrote, all of which will be performed by the National Symphony Orchestra at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. When you go to the symphony, the first thing anybody asks at the symphony is, how long is this going to take, right? It is true. That's what it they want to know. Yeah, when you play us out on stage, you're playing it. Right, <laughs> <laughs> to the players as well. And I noticed that people were looking at the program while the music was going on. They, they needed something extra to see. And I thought, what if there was a drawing of what you're listening to? So just by looking at the art, you get a sense of the tempo, of how much time has passed. In this cycle, what I try to do is to be as transparent as possible, to let Beethoven speak as he was talking to Mo. And I just had this blank piece of paper with each panel taped down. I just let myself go. And it was the music that did that. You start with some ideas, after that you, you, you find yourself in losing yourself in this. And this is a signal of a great, great genius composer. Each symphony would then have a new technique. So the first one is only acrylic, and then the second one is acrylic with some ink. The most fun was the eighth, and the colors were there, and the shapes were bigger. The fifth was fun because I got to throw ink on the page. Bam! All right, I'll put some gold on there. Let's see what it is. That was fun. I don't know how people are going to react to these pieces. I know that when I hear these things, I'm going to be crying. As a performer, I have to be able to narrate a story with the coup de théâtre, the surprise, the silence. With Beethoven, any moment is a discovery. I wanted to make something that was special, that was worth looking at for half an hour or 70 minutes. But I also wanted it to be simple enough so that someone at home might say, you know what, I'm going to put on a record of my favorite symphony and I'm going to draw to it. To approach Beethoven is still a journey. You know you are starting the journey, but you will never know what the journey will take you. Mm -hmm.